Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Information Briefcase. Today we're going to learn about. Don't worry you are not lazy just burn out. Now, let's begin. For what reason does it seem like you spend? The majority of your energy in bed resting and not doing much recently? Are you somebody who effectively gets tired and feel like relaxing and avoid doing anything? Do you mark this sort of actions as simple laziness and nothing more? There's in reality a ton of crossover between laziness and burnout. That can make it hard to separate between the two. Burnout is a negative condition of passionate physical and mental depletion, made by excessive pressure and lack of ability to adapt to it. What's more starting at 2010, a review revealed that around 75% of grown-ups in the United States alone have encountered indications of burnout, with more than 40% of cases being more extreme. Presently, like never before, it's become important to teach and make people understand better about burnout. So, the following six indications what you're encountering. At present isn't really laziness, but burnout. Number 1. Feeling disconnected. Are you making a half-hearted efforts in your daily life? as though you have been on autopilot? Is there a feeling of being disconnected from your own self? Assuming you're experiencing burnout. These are something you may be encountering, but don't exactly acknowledge or comprehend as feeling disconnected. Individuals encountering disconnect, mostly battling with trauma. They report feeling unusual kind of emotionless feel. Or emptiness as though they were watching their own life from outside of themselves. They don't feel like themselves any longer. They don't feel connected with by anything. Also they continually battle with the staggering sense of helplessness and failure to reclaim control of their lives. Num 2. You used to be motivated. Laziness is one of every individual's qualities. Individual qualities will generally stay stable over the long run. A lazy individual doesn't want to struggle for anything or apply effort to achieve something. But if you are a self-motivated and successful person in specific field, but suddenly you became exhausted and unmotivated, then, at that point, you should realize you're experiencing burnout. And not laziness like majority of people would think. Number 3. You used to be passionate. An unmistakable contrast between somebody who's burnout and somebody who's lazy is that the person used to have important things they were enthusiastic about, but may now be battling to find interest or enjoyment in it any longer. Whether it's an ability in a sport, or your ability in your academic, or your ability in your work, Burnout can make it hard for you to do the things you once cherished or had passion about. You may even come to hate or avoid doing it because of the amount you exhausted yourself and pushed yourself to the edge. Number 4. Moody and Irritable. Do you observe yourself to be moody and irritated? Do you regularly feel out of control these days and don't have the foggiest idea why? Moodiness and irritability are normal, but frequently we disregarded indications of burnout. So if you begin to experience difficulty controlling your feelings, particularly when it never used to be an issue for you this may be the reason why. Lazy individuals on other hand are totally contrast to this, since they're regularly exceptionally relaxed, laid back and unaffected by things. Number 5. Neglecting your self-care. Perhaps the most incredibly upsetting danger sign. That somebody might be emotionally and physically burn out. Is when you begin disregarding caring yourself and socially pull out from others. There are concerning changes in your eating and sleeping. You quit trying to groom yourself or look beautiful. You will quite often invest majority of your time alone, since you're so easily exhausted by doing even the easiest task. The contrast between being burnout and laziness. Our burnout individuals weren't always this way. Number 6. Changes happen gradually. Something you should know about burnout is that it develops in stages. So as we mentioned points referenced previously. Losing interest and motivation particularly in things we used to love, feeling confined from yourself also disengaged from everything around you, socially pulling out and disregarding your taking care of yourself, will not simply happen out of the blue. Researches show that there are really five significant phases of burnout, each with increasing levels of seriousness. The honeymoon stage, the beginning of pressure, chronic pressure, burnout and habitual burnout. Many individuals start to encounter symptoms in second stage, when there is as yet a moderate amount of pressure, but optimism, interest, inspiration and execution may begin declining. When you arrive at the fifth and last stage, burnout has as of now become so implanted in your life that the steady mental and actual fatigue become more extreme and harder to treat, making you more powerless creating depression and anxiety. 
so let's conclude detecting the indications of burnout early. Makes it even more easier for you to find help and recover. That is the reason it's so critical to bring awareness about burnout rather than simply ignoring it as laziness. Like majority of people will quite often do. So assuming you are, or anybody you know are suffering from mental or emotional burnout, kindly don't hesitate a moment to contact your psychiatrist. If you find this video helpful be sure to hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts experiences and suggestions. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe like share and comment below. Please press the bell button to get notification.